Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Ask Audio and today I'm going to show you how to make this analog microcontroller communicate with Ableton Live. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need an Arduino Uno, you're going to need Max for Live, and you're going to need Live 9 standard or above. What I'm going to do right now is show you the controller in action. I've just got it hooked up to a simple delay right now, although this can be routed or mapped to almost anything inside Ableton Live. I'm just using this simple delay as an example. And then I'll go into how to build this thing from start to finish. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so there you can see that the potentiometers are actually communicating with Ableton Live via Max and the Arduino, and I'm able to control some of the digital device parameters using those analog potentiometers. And by the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how analog signal is going to be transferred into Ableton Live via the Arduino, and you can use really anything that has an analog output to it. So there are many sensors that you can get for Arduino and stuff like this, and really the sky's the limit. You're not going to need any coding for this tutorial, and you're not going to need to do any soldering. It's all a prototype on the breadboard, and the code is actually just a sketch that comes right with the Arduino software. And then, of course, the coding inside of Max has already been done via the connection kit pack that's free to download from Ableton.com. But, like I said, links and full directions on the website. But I'm going to go ahead and build this on the breadboard right now and then show you how to load the sketch in the Arduino and then show you how to get everything mapped inside Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So here we go. I've got the Arduino plugged in to the computer and I have the Arduino software opened. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, Examples, Formata, Standard Formata, and it's going to open a new window for me with the Standard Formata. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Tools and make sure the board is the board I'm using. So I'm using the Arduino Uno. Perfect. And the port, you're going to choose whatever port is being used by your Arduino. Usually there's only going to be one uh, available. Mine's COM6 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then I'm just going to hit this button to upload to the Arduino. And we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. And then I'll come right back. Okay, great. It says done uploading. 
There was uh, a little bit of a warning here, and it's just because there are two files with the same name, and one is on the 64-bit program file, and the other one's on the 86. So don't worry about that, but it says done uploading, and there are no er errors, so we're good to go to jump into Ableton Live and get things mapped. All right, so here I am inside of Ableton Live. I haven't unplugged the Arduino, although I could because the Formata sketch is going to stay on the Arduino until I override it with something else. So you can disconnect it and connect it. But you definitely want to connect it before you launch the Max for Live application that we're about to use. So if you haven't yet, go to AbletonLive.com and download the connection kit, install it, and you'll find it under the packs section in the places here in the browser. Connection kit, devices, Arduino, this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and launch that. Okay, so here we go. And the first thing we wanna do is make sure the port is the COM that we're using. So the USB port and it's COM6 for me and everything looks good. If you don't see yours, just hit rescan and hopefully it shows up. And the next thing we're gonna to have to do is remember which analog ID we are using for what. So I have a switch on A0 and four potentiometers. I have one on A1, A2, A3, and A4. So let's go ahead and drop a simple delay onto the channel here and go ahead and start mapping stuff. So I'm gonna map A1, which is the potentiometer on the far left to the feedback. I'm gonna map the second potentiometer to the dry wet. I'm gonna turn off the sync here so I can just use time delay and I'm gonna map the third potentiometer to the left time delay and the fourth potentiometer to the right time delay. And now if I move the potentiometers, you'll see that those values are changing. So right now I'm moving the right time delay. Right now I'm moving the left time delay, dry wet and feedback. Another thing we can do is map the on off to the switch we have, although it's a little bit finicky because of something called bouncing. So that's gonna be a whole nother tutorial on how to get around that. But if we map it right now, we'll see that it's off. And if I flip the switch, well, now it's off. And if I flip the switch, now it's on. But you can see right here that there is some sort of feedback going on. And I also saw that if I pulled one, any of these parameters all the way down, sometimes it will glitch out, though it's not doing it right now. So we're in good to go. But if you do experience a flickering on and off, on and off, if you're trying to install a switch like I have on the on off button, just try to switch the input from pin one to pin three or try another switch or just relaunch the Arduino and try it again. It will eventually work if for some reason it wasn't working to begin with. But that's it, there we go. I've got my analog controller working inside Ableton Live and everything is happy. No soldering, no coding. We're good to go to start building something cool. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.